So what stories do you have to tell us, Mr. Cousins? Well, you know, it's, it's, it, I got a lot of stories. I got a lot of stories. Um, this road right here, they call it Johnson Drive, all right? Johnson Drive. And it's a very historical road. You know, this has been in the, in the town for nearly 150 years, all right? And back in the day, when the circus would roll through, all right, just as they'd, they'd always come down Johnson Drive. And the, the little children would line up on the sides, and they'd be cheering, and they'd be wanting to see the, you know, the elephants and the monkeys and, you know, all the clowns and, you know, a really good time. Well, about that time, I think the year was 1874, all right? And there's an ambush, all right? And a band of burglars came up, and they ambushed the circus as they're coming through. And they came in with their pistols, and they, they robbed the whole, they robbed the whole thing. And they stole the monkeys, and they stole the elephants, and they got out of here. 20 years later, nobody knows where it is. Still don't, all right? They disappeared with the animals. They resurfaced 20 years later, and it's the middle of Pennsylvania. And, and, they, and you know what they did? They opened up an animal petting zoo in the middle of Pennsylvania. And the Pennsylvania mayor, he said, no, 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 no. We can't allow this to happen. And he was going there to shut it down, all right? But when he got there, he realized just how interesting it was going up petting the little monkeys, petting the little gorilla, you know, you know how it works. And he thought, now this is a pretty good dang idea you guys got here. Why don't we, why don't we try to expand this? So these burglars and the Pennsylvania mayor started expanding the petting zoos nationwide, you know? And that's how we get pet zoos today. You know, it's just it's just really interesting that, that something as simple as Johnson Drive in Fort Scott, Kansas created a whole, you know, part of our everyday life, you know? And you just look for these stories all around and they just pop out of thin air, you know? It's just interesting. We're surrounded by history, folks. We're surrounded by history. That's a fact. So I may, I may be wrong. I may be completely wrong and just full of it. But I may be right. I think this was like a chute that they put ice down because up above there there's that there's like an old abandoned building like i said i may be wrong but i think that was an ice factory and then they put the ice it would like slide through the chute and then there'd be trucks down here that would load it up and then drive out again i may be completely wrong but i think that's what this is all right mr cousins describe what we're doing here we are exploring the prospector's cave now see back in the the Kansas Gold Rush, one of the least known uh, gold rushes in all the world, actually. Um, the old California prospectors, they done ran out of gold in California, and they thought, shoot, we gotta go back east and see what we can find. And they were coming through, and they stopped here at this place called Granny's Kitchen. They serve fried chicken, mashed potatoes, you know, all the goods, all the goods. Dinner rolls, they got good dinner rolls, all right? And they stopped here, and they was eating. And they kind of like this cooking. They like Granny's cooking. Because Granny was a good cook. She really was. So they went out back to the creek, right? And they started painting. And what do you know? They find a pan full of gold. But the prospectors don't tell anybody. Because they want to keep all this to themselves. They want all the kooks to go out there to California where they know the gold's gone. All right? These prospectors, they're smart, they're smart guys. All right? So they keep it to themselves. And they start digging all these tunnels like the one we're in now. And, you know, it just caught on, and that's how they got rich, you know. Granny's cooking saved them, you know.